In the fast-paced world of cryptocurrencies, the concept of stability is elusive. It's not wrong to say that most popular cryptocurrencies, such as Bitcoin and Ethereum, come hand-in-hand -hand with volatility. Like any asset class, they are susceptible to market volatility, which hinders their adoption as a reliable medium of exchange and store of value. However, a new subset of stablecoins has emerged to address this fundamental issue. So how do stablecoins work? In this video, we will delve into the world of stablecoins and unravel the mechanism behind their operations. So, what is a stablecoin? Stablecoin is a cryptocurrency whose value is tied or pegged to the value of another currency, commodity, or financial investment. The term pegged refers to a strategy in which the national government or central bank fixes the exchange rate of a foreign currency or basket of currencies with its currency to fix the exchange rate. The invention of stablecoin can be traced back to 2014. The crypto industry was still in its infant days, and the liquidity of digital assets remained low, which resulted in high volatility. This high volatility limits cryptocurrency adoption because frequent price fluctuations limit their practical use. This situation led to the creation of stablecoins. These cryptocurrencies serve as substitutes for Bitcoin and aim to provide more excellent stability than other digital currencies. The primary objective of stablecoins is to counteract the volatile nature commonly associated with most cryptocurrencies. BitUSD and NuBits were the first stablecoins. Crypto assets back both. BitUSD was supported by the BitShares primary token called BTS. It was held as collateral within a smart contract. However, in 2018, BitUSD lost its value to the US dollar, leading to heavy criticism. Nubits, on the other hand, was regulated by the Seigneurage system, resulting in a 90% reduction in its value. Since its inception, Nubits has experienced two crashes, one in 2016 and another in 2018. Despite these setbacks, it recovered and briefly reached a value of over $1.20. However, currently, it is trading at around $0.06, cents, which is only a tiny fraction of its intended value of $1. Today, the most widely recognized stablecoin is Tether, USDT. It holds a significant position in the cryptocurrency market in terms of market capitalization and is considered one of the most valuable cryptocurrencies overall. Now, how do they work? We must look at their categories to know how this cryptocurrency class works. Stablecoins can be categorized based on their working mechanisms. Fiat-backed stablecoins. As the name implies, fiat-backed stablecoins are stablecoins that are backed by a country's official currency, such as the US dollar or the Britain pound. This means that to issue a specific number of tokens of a particular cryptocurrency, the issuer must put up as collateral dollar reserves equal to that. Meanwhile, commodities like gold can also be used in place of currencies. A well-known example of this type of stablecoin is Tether, USDT. Tether is a cryptocurrency stablecoin pegged to the US dollar. Crypto-backed stablecoins. This category of stablecoins is backed by other crypto assets instead of traditional fiat currencies. Crypto-backed stablecoins employ an over-collateralization strategy to uphold their value and mitigate the backing asset's potential volatility. For instance, a crypto with a face value of $1 might be secured by an underlying crypto asset worth $2. This approach acts as a safeguard, ensuring that even if the supporting crypto experiences a decline in worth, the stablecoin remains at a steady $1 value. Compared to fiat-backed stablecoins, these crypto-backed counterparts exhibit lower stability. One type is DAI, which is pegged to the US dollar and runs on the Ethereum network. Commodity-backed stablecoins. A commodity-backed stablecoin leverages the value of gold and other precious metals to ensure its stability. This market is centralized, which might be seen as a disadvantage by part of the crypto community, whereas it protects them from crypto volatility. Historically, gold has been regarded as a safeguard against stock market instability and inflation, making it a desirable asset to include in portfolios within volatile markets. DigiX is an example of such stablecoins backed by gold enabling investors to invest in precious metals without the complexities associated with their physical transportation and storage. DigiX is an example of this type of stablecoin. It is backed by gold and allows investors to invest in precious metals without the inconvenience of dealing with transportation and storage. Algorithm or hybrid stablecoins. These stablecoins are a bit tricky to understand because they aren't backed by any physical asset, not any crypto. Instead, their stability is maintained through intricate algorithms designed to prevent price fluctuations. 
Essentially, they function like central banks, safeguarding the currency's peg in the market. Whenever the stablecoin's price surpasses the peg, assets are purchased. And when the price drops below the peg, these assets are sold. For instance, if an algorithmic stablecoin is pegged to USD1 and its value increases, the algorithm will automatically introduce additional tokens into circulation to reduce the price. Conversely, if the price falls below $1, the supply will be reduced to elevate the price. One algorithm-backed stablecoin is AMPL, which its creator says it's better equipped to handle stocks in demand. Non-collateralized and seniorage stablecoins. These stablecoins are similar to algorithmic stablecoins only in that they do not have any reserves in intelligent contracts. Instead, they employ complex processes to adjust the circulation of their coins based on supply and demand dynamics. These stablecoins are self-collateralized, meaning they don't require any assets as collateral to create new coins. Let's say there's a stablecoin called X, with a target value of $1. If the price drops to $0.70, cents, it indicates more stablecoin supply than demand. In response, the algorithm uses seniorage, the profits generated, to purchase stablecoins thereby reducing the supply and restoring the price to $1. However, seniorage shares are issued if the price remains below $1 and the algorithm's earnings need to be increased to buy more stablecoin supply. This process means that users effectively invest in expanding the supply of these non-collateralized stablecoins. On the other hand, if the stablecoin's price rises above $1, the algorithm generates more tokens, increasing the supply until the price falls below $1. The profits earned in this process are referred to as seigneurage. So, why are stablecoins used? The decentralization of financial transactions in cryptocurrency is a significant advantage as it virtually eliminates the possibility of duplication or counterfeiting. It is worth noting that cryptocurrency is not a regulated asset and is even considered illegal in certain countries. Consequently, it exhibits high volatility, which concerns various stakeholders particularly those involved in green finance. These stakeholders argue that the volatile nature of crypto hinders its widespread adoption. Cryptocurrencies are known for their highly volatile price movements. For example, the value of Bitcoin experienced a significant increase in April 2021, reaching around $68,000 per Bitcoin, up from $5,000 per Bitcoin just a year prior. However, it dropped to $18,000 per Bitcoin within a few months. Such fluctuations in value introduce uncertainty and make cryptocurrencies unsuitable for everyday use by retail investors or individuals lacking expertise. A stable currency is crucial for serving as a reliable medium of exchange, ensuring that its purchasing power appreciates or remains stable in the future. Unlike traditional fiat currencies, which are backed and guaranteed by the government and can only be issued by a country's central bank, cryptocurrencies lack such authority. The value of fiat currencies is often linked to other assets, such as foreign exchange reserves or commodities like gold, which act as collateral for lenders. Consequently, government debt denominated in traditional fiat currencies is generally considered the safest asset. In contrast, cryptocurrencies are not issued by any central authority, necessitating alternative methods for price stabilization. Being a decentralized system, they cannot be controlled by authorities or institutions. Financial intermediaries are unable to neutralize demand and supply imbalances that may arise. Investors must be encouraged to spend their tokens rather than hoard them to mitigate the inflationary tendencies of cryptocurrencies. Stablecoins, as the name suggests, aim to address this issue by offering mechanisms to maintain the value of cryptocurrencies stably. If you've watched this video till the end, I hope you now understand what stablecoins are and their significance within the crypto ecosystem. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, kindly subscribe to the channel for more and hit the notification bell to never miss any of our updates. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.